100 Jams, where hit music lives. Just see a Shang Yang anthem in the mix right now. It's 11.30, all about Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. And Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. And remember that you do not need luck when you've got Easy Payday Loans. Their loans are simple, fast, and easy. We're talking about instant approval. Eligible applicants can borrow up to $15,000. Just call to begin your loan process today, 603-0200. Or visit them at their new location on University Drive. Right now, get into your hot topics. Well, to my surprise, the now reigning female rapper Miss Mulatto recently changed her name due to controversy surrounding it. And the definition of Mulatto is a person with one white and one black parent, which Miss Mulatto is. But because she referred to herself as this person starts, she believed that she was better than them, despite Mulatto expressing that this was not her intention when she chose her rap name. But now she officially changed it to just Lotto. So it's no longer Mulatto, it is just Lotto. And I just think the world is getting so sensitive. Obviously she chose the name because she's mixed. I'm just saying, her father is black and her mother is white. It's as obvious as that, but she changed the name for everyone else who may have feel some kind of way about it. But moving on to hotter topics in the media, man. So apparently there are scented candles that smell like a female flower. I would say the V word, but you know, I got to keep it PG. <laughs> so yes, it smells like a female flower and it's being sold. But after a recent purchase, a male complained that it exploded by his bedside and is now seeking a jury trial on damages of $5 million against the company, which is called Goop. So letting anyone know, if you're familiar with the company Goop, and a lot of us like our scented candles, you just want to be careful. But the gentleman, he burned the female flower scented candle for around three hours before the candle exploded and became engulfed in high flames. So now this candle is said to have a scent of... Well, it's like a funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautifully unexpected scent. And it's supposed to put you in this, like, this fantasy, seduction, and sophisticated warmth. I don't know how it does that, but they're saying that this is what this candle is supposed to do. So, obviously, this guy burned that candle for three hours, so he was expecting something to be going on. But Goop have rejected the claim, calling it frivolous and an attempt to secure an outsized payout from a press-heavy product. However, a similar situation happened with another one of their candles, but they ensured that they have specific fire safety instructions included with their candles, such as trimming the wick and not burning it for more than two hours. A lot of us know we burn our candles for way more than two hours. I'm just saying. So you probably want to check, you know, um, the fire safety instructions on any candle before burning it, especially if you may have probably purchased a candle from Goop. But moving on to further news, Google's got your back, and Google is... Looking out for you because they want to make it easier for you to delete your last search history. Whatever your reason may be, whatever your reason may be, whatever you might be searching online, they're making it easier for you to delete it. Um, basically, of course, you know, to protect user privacy. So step one, all you got to do is tap on your profile picture to access your menu. Then click delete last 15 minutes. And when you've done that, Google will erase all of your search history as they're also doing this right now. They're hiding selected pictures from Google Photos. So I'm just saying, <laughs> boy, oh, boy, technology is getting more secretive. And, yeah, this is causing the problems in a lot of relationships right here. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you, go hide your business. Go hide your Google Photos. But, yeah, Google is helping you to definitely be a bit more secretive. So you can get away with a lot of stuff. I'm just saying. That's it for Chat Trap, though. Don't want to cause any problems. <laughs> just letting you know what's happening in the media, man. Of course, Chat Trap is brought to you by Easy Payday Loans. And Easy Payday is giving you low fees and the most competitive rates on any loan you apply for. That's instant loans, auto loans, loan consolidation, and quick financial assistance. So you want to refer a friend and Easy Payday Loans will pay you $100 when you as an existing client refer a friend. Terms and conditions do apply. Just call or visit today, 603-0200, or visit them at their new location on University Drive.